Alright, welcome to another video tutorial on electronic configuration. In this case, we are trying to determine the electronic configuration of your arsenic with the symbol AS. Okay, so always we look at our periodic table and determine how many electrons do we need to distribute in the electronic configuration of our given atom. So let's look at our periodic table and we then try to locate arsenic and it's here okay it's element number 33 so that tells us that there are 33 electrons in your neutral arsenic atom and we need to distribute these 33 electrons in our electronic configuration and remember since it belongs to a general group 1 group 2 group 3 group 4 group 5 we expect that arsenic has 5 valence electrons again valence electrons are those electrons in the outermost shell that do most of the work when there is bonding all right so let's write down the total number of electrons and i have written here 33 electrons based on the number of uh, uh, based rather on the atomic number of your arsenic as we have seen in the periodic table and that is 33 so we need to distribute this 33 electrons based on the increasing energy of the orbitals that we will see in our guide all right so again these are your orbital diagrams in increasing energy and this is a diagonal way of showing the increasing energy of your orbital starting from 1s as the lowest energy up to the f orbital having the highest energy right so that's 1s 2s 2p 3s and so on and this here again to remind you that every box or every orbital can only accommodate two electrons so one for the s that's only two a total of two for the p that's a total of six since you have three here three boxes i mean and for the d that's a total of 10 and for the f orbitals that's a total of 14. so let's do all the filling up and distribute our total of 33 electrons all right so i have filled two electrons for the lowest energy orbitals one s2 go to the next uh, orbital that's 2s I have used another a pair another pair of your electrons at a total of four then we have one two three again for the de degenerate orbitals we have to distribute them first before we pair up according to Hans rule that's a uh, important rule in your electronic configuration okay so that's two four six a total of ten two four six eight ten we have now used ten electrons out of a total of 33 so we then simply fill up the next empty orbital according to increasing energy levels all right so i have now filled all the 33 electrons for your arsenic atom so earlier i've, sh I've shown you how to fill up the 10 electrons we proceed to the 12th here 3s2 then another 6 for the 3p to the next 4s2 then 3d10 so that's a total of 30 we still have three more so we then distribute them in your 4p orbital and again remember for your degenerate orbitals we have to distribute them first in every orbital for before we do the pairing up okay so not here but rather one for each box okay so that, that's according to Hans rule a very important rule in your electronic configuration so that's a total of 33 electrons so we now write them down to check our answer right so i have now written the full electronic configuration based on our field energy orbitals earlier so that's 1s2 2s2 2p6 let's see that again here 1s2 2s2 2p6 then followed by 3s2 3p6 4s2 all right that's 3s2 3s4 so and lastly 3d10 and 4p3 all right that's 3d10 and 4p3 so that's a total of 33 electrons and that is our uh, full electronic configuration based on our answer all right now as what we have done in the previous videos we will try to compare or check our answer based on the wikipedia website so let's see that all right just to check this is the wikipedia sites all right so let's look for element number 33 for your arsenic and there it is Okay, so you have here 1s2, 2s2, p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4, 3d10, 4s2, 4p6. Again, now this here is written according to increasing 
uh, sorry, increasing number of shells. So that's one, two, three, four, right? So as you can see in the fourth shell, we have how many electrons? One, two, three, four, five. Two plus three is five, so that's a total of five valence electrons since you have five electrons on the outermost shell, which is the fourth shell. So that corresponds to our uh, note earlier that your arsenic contains or has five valence electrons. Now, in our previous videos, we've shown you the core configuration that is represented here by argon. AR is argon, then 3D104 is 24P3. Alright? So that is just from 1S2 to 3P6, that's the argon configuration. Then you have 3D104 is 24P3 for the remaining electrons to correspond to your arsenic. Again, the order of writing is different from our answer here because the way we wrote it is on the increasing energy of your orbitals. Okay, the Wikipedia site was increasing number of shells. Now, whichever will be asked will still be correct, and that will still be of the same idea. All right. So again, that's our final answer for your arsenic electronic configuration. That's all for this video. Thank you for listening and continue learning.